police officer told me, to, I mean, had me sit down and looked right at my face. And I looked up at him. And he said, your daughter has been killed. She was killed last night. The single worst day of this mother's life. I miss her smile. She was a good mom. Telling her grandchildren their mother isn't coming home. And then facing the drunk driver who killed her. I had a lot of hatred towards this man. A lot of hatred. Yet somehow in her grief, she found forgiveness. It was a stupid mistake that he could never take back. Tonight, this Jacksonville mother is sharing her story of pain and loss, hoping it will save someone else's life. Deborah Pruitt describes the man who killed her 25-year-old daughter as a man who thought he could handle his alcohol, someone who thought he was okay to drive. Randall Morrow's first bad wreck was the one that took Jennifer Kirk's life. The mother of three died in Baker County three years ago on her way home from work. Jennifer Waugh sat down with Jennifer's mother. This man took my daughter's life because he thought he could handle it. He wasn't over three times the limit or anything like that. He was basically buzz drunk. It is the single most important message this mother is trying to share with anyone who will listen. Try to get through people's heads that buzz drinking is considered drinking. And this is what this man was. He thought he could handle it. He was .128. And, you know, he, he, and he killed my daughter for that. Debbie Pruitt had four good reasons to hate Randall Murrow. Not only did she lose a daughter, but Jaden, Alyssa, and Amber lost a mother that night. And we told them that they had been, that, you know, their mom had been in a bad car accident, car crash, and she wasn't coming home anymore. And that was the hardest thing to do. Pruitt imagined only a monster could be so careless, so cruel, until she saw her daughter's killer in court. He was the same age as my daughter, and he also had a son that was about Jane's age. His wife, his name was actually Jennifer as well. She realized he was a lot like her daughter and says that he had never been in trouble before, even had a clean driving record. Randall Morrow was from Mississippi. He was only in the Jacksonville area because he was working as a welder. He'd come out here to Glen St. Mary to visit a co-worker, had too much to drink, but decided to get in the car anyway because he didn't want to waste the money he'd spent on the hotel room in Jacksonville. He blew right through this stop sign and hit Jennifer's car so hard that it pushed it all the way over there into that ditch. He told Jennifer's mom, he is still haunted by the memories of running up to her car. He went like this because I still feel the warmth of her body on my fingers. And I can't get that feeling off. And I will always remember that. At what point did your feelings about him, that hatred, change into forgiveness? The moment that changed is when the judge came out to give him a sentencing. There was, I don't know, I can't explain it, just something in the air. I can't explain it. I think Jennifer wanted me to forgive him. She did. They have since formed an unlikely bond. It says, Miss Debbie, I hope this letter finds you well. Morrow wrote her a letter from prison. But getting the kids a college fund started is the first thing on my agenda. While he serves a five-year prison sentence. Pruitt makes weekly trips to visit this roadside sign marking the spot her daughter lost her life. A painful tradition. Does it get any easier as time goes by? No. It doesn't. It doesn't. I'm always going to miss her. I'm always going to love her. Nothing's going to make it easier. She was able to adopt two of her daughter's three children. She's kept every picture, every article about their mother. But her name is mentioned in our house so much that it's like she's with us all the time. Soon, Pruitt will be standing side by side with her daughter's killer. Morrow has been ordered to spend his probation traveling from school to school with Pruitt, teaching high school students about the consequences of buzz driving. What do you miss most about your daughter? I miss her hugs. I miss her hugs 
because she would come up and give me a hug, just whenever. Randall Morrow told her that he just felt buzzed that night. At 195 pounds, it would have taken four beers for someone his size to have been considered legally drunk. That's .08 blood alcohol level. But we know that his blood alcohol level was .128, which means he clearly had to have had more than just four beers that night. It is a reminder that the first thing alcohol does to your body is affect your judgment. Jennifer Watt, Channel 4, The Local Station.